Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft update video. This is release candidate number one for Minecraft 1.20.5. So this comes off the back of two pre-releases and is intended to be the final version of 1.20.5. And as it says right there, sometime next week. So no actual date has been given, but considering this is now in the release candidate phase, this might just be the last update video from me on this version of Minecraft. So let's do things in chronological order, starting with pre-release 3. In this one, the data pack was upgraded to version 41, and that's because of an entity tag that has been renamed to redirectable projectiles. An older bug was fixed, which caused the panorama menu background to sometimes spin quickly when exiting a world. Some screen flashing issues when changing the render distance and biome blend settings. And the range of fireworks being shot from dispensers has been returned to normal. Lastly, there was an issue that stopped players from sprinting and walking across one block gaps. After pre-release 3 came pre-release 4 with an even shorter list of fixes and changes. The resource pack was changed to version 32 because of whatever on earth this means right here. And when it comes to bugs, bogs were actually attempted to be spawned. Although they wouldn't spawn, the game was still trying to, even though the 1.21 stuff had been disabled. There were also some fixes related to the redirectable projectiles that we saw in the last pre-release. And then we have today's release candidate 1. So here in the release candidate, there is a temporary change that's been made for modified servers. And it states here that it's going to be removed in the next release. So there is this temporary option for server owners to use before the full release comes out. And when it comes to bug fixes, there were just two, both of them related to upgrading worlds to this latest version. So with all of that covered, we do actually have some form of new feature to talk about in the Minecraft launcher. First, let me refresh your memory. This is the news page and it's going to be replaced with an experimental new home page. To access this, you can click on settings and then you want to go to experimental settings, enable home page. This changes the news icon over here to the home icon. And when we open this tab, this is what we get. So we have the news feed like before down in this area. We have this image here, advertising add-ons and the ability to search for Minecraft content. That content is from the newsfeed, so it's pretty limited what you can search for, just things related to whatever appears on the newsfeed. Now, this is actually one of four things that can appear on the homepage here. You can select them on the right. There's also this play button that currently doesn't seem to do anything. And at the top here, we can see the quick launch features and the ones that I had configured in the past, the ability to jump right into the game but when you click down here, you can see all of your Java profiles on the side. But then you can also go into different versions of a Bedrock, like Retail and Preview Edition. And from here, you can also launch Minecraft Dungeons and Legends. There is also the ability to edit your quick play settings here and add other ones. And I believe it's possible to add shortcuts into Legends and Dungeons. But as you can see, incompatible with the launcher currently. So minor changes in the launcher, but it's nice to see that it hasn't been forgotten about and it still gets some changes and updates from time to time. So there you go, Minecraft 1.20.5 will be releasing next week. It's likely there'll be no more changes, so you probably won't see a video from me unless something drastic happens. And I think we can expect snapshots soon that will be covering more 1.21 content, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And yesterday I also published an episode of Hermitcraft, so if you didn't catch that, you know where to go to check it out. So thanks for watching the video and I'll see you soon with another one. Bye bye.